Today I'd like to give you a brief lecture on labels and labeling. To introduce myself, I'm Sean Parsons, and here goes the lecture. Uh, there's a few questions we should probably answer when it comes to label and labeling. Uh, one would be, what information should be present on a manufacturer's stock label? What information is present on an OTC label? What should be present on a dispensed prescription drug label? And what is an NDC number? As we proceed with this, let's go over some of the basics of label and labeling. All drugs are required to have clear and accurate information for all labels, inserts, and packaging. The FDA has redesigned the often lengthy package inserts that accompany RX drugs. The new labels are intended to provide doctors and patients with more concise and clear information. Different information requirements for various categories of drugs. Information requirements for OTC drugs are designed to enable consumers to use them without medical advice. Manufacturers of prescription drugs do not have to include directions on the container label since the prescriber and dispenser must supply such directions. There are many drugs with similar sounding names and similar looking packages. It is essential for pharmacy technicians to pay close attention to the details of drug names and packaging. Using the wrong drug can have very serious consequences. So here, looking at over-the-counter labels. Over-the-counter medications do not require a prescription, but sometimes prescriptions are written for them for insurance or other reasons. In addition, patients often seek counseling regarding the use of OTCs. Since OTC medications are not without risks, all patients requesting information on them should be referred to the pharmacist. OTC medications may have significant drug interactions with prescription drugs which can lead to serious adverse effects. To the left is a label format adopted by the FDA to make it easier to read and understand the information on OTC labels. The following information should be contained on labels of OTC medications. Product name, name and address of manufacturer or distributor, list of all active ingredients and other ingredients, amount of contents, adequate warnings, adequate directions for use. When we look at the manufacturer stock level label, you'll notice that if we come over here, give me one second, now if we can start right here and just go around. You notice we have the generic name, oxycodone uh, and acetaminophen tablets, USP, the brand name is Endoset. The NDC number, which is 60951602270. The controlled substance mark, since this happens to be a C2. Uh, coming down, we can see our expiration date. We can see our lot number. We can see our legend statement telling us that this is prescription only. The drug form is tablets. The package quantity is 100. Here we can see the manufacturer's name and address, so we have Endo Pharmaceuticals and their location in Pennsylvania. Uh, type of dispensing container required, here it says dispense in a tight light resistant container as defined in the USP with a child resistant closure as required. For storage requirements, it says store at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, which is 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. See USP controlled room temperature. And for our active ingredients and their strength, if we come down here it tells us uh, oxycodone hydrochloride, 5 milligrams, acetaminophen, 325 milligrams. Also, one other thing probably worth noting here is that the number in the barcode is the exact same number as what we have up here in the NDC number. So let's discuss the manufacturer's uh, stock label. The parts of the manufacturer's label as displayed on the previous slide, and particularly the parts that you may not be as familiar with. The lot number is a tracking number for the, manu for the manufacturer. The controlled substance mark, the C, surrounding a Roman numeral allows you to know what schedule the drug is. And then the NDC number, which we mentioned. Each medication uh, listed under Section 510 of the U.S. Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act is assigned a unique 10-digit, three-segment number. This number, known as the National Drug Code, identifies the labeler or vendor, product, and trade package size. The first segment, the labeler code, is assigned by the Food and Drug Administration. A labeler is any firm that manufactures, repacks, or distributes a, product, a drug product. The second segment, the product code, identifies a specific strength, 
dosage form and formulation for a particular firm. Uh, the third segment, the package code, identifies package size. Uh, both the product and package codes are assigned by the firm. The NDC will be in one of the following configurations, 442, 532, or 541. The following is an example of the same drug, same manufacturer, same dosage form and size, but different strengths. So if we zoom in here some on the NDC numbers, now if we look, we can see that they both have the same manufacturer, 60951. We can see that they both end in the same two digit numbers for dosage form and size as 70. But we can see that the drug strength is different. Here, in this case, the first one is 5 milligrams of oxycodone and 325 milligrams of acetaminophen, whereas the second one is 10 milligrams of oxycodone and 650 milligrams of acetaminophen. So now, coming up here and looking at dispense prescription drug labels, we can just go ahead and work our way around. Okay, uh, the prescription number, this number may be used for refills and for insurance forms. If we come over here to B, we have the physician's name, and that's also where you would locate the physician's phone number normally. If you come down to C, you have the date dispensed. Come across to D, we have the patient's name. If you look down at E, we have the name of the medication. If you go up to the top here, F, you have the pharmacy name and phone number. If you come back down to G, we have the quantity. Uh, in other words, the quantity dispensed. Uh, if we come down to H, you have if there's any refills available. Uh, the label will show the number of refills permitted. The label may also state no refills, doctor authorization required, which means you have to talk to a physician to dispense more. Uh, if we come over here to I, you can see that we are looking at the manufacturer, in this case Teva. Uh, if we come down to J, it has the expiration date. And if you come over to K, we have our instructions, uh, which tells the patient how often to take it and by what route. So in this case, take one capsule by mouth three times daily for 10 days until all taken. So what's next? Let's do an interpreting drug labels quiz. You may find it useful to review this video or download this lecture in PDF format.